Mirage is the most popular pop-up exhibit today and has been for over 25 years. It is lightweight, compact, and easy to use. It can support products or provide a big billboard for your marketing message. No other pop-up has the strength and the fit and finish that Mirage provides. There are three styles of Mirage frames, Mirage Classic, Mirage Plus, and Mirage Advantage. This video will cover the cases, assembly of the three different frame styles, the panels, and the lights. First, let's start with the packaging. A standard 8-foot or 10-foot Mirage is packed into two transporter cases. The transporters are unique to pop-up displays. Each has an inner case within the main case. Inside the transporter lid is a zippered nylon envelope that contains detailed setup and dismantle instructions. There are two types of cores. The square core holds the frame. The octagonal core holds the magnetic channels in pockets around the core's square center. Lighting and shelving packs into the square portion. The Mirage Classic frame is made of fiberglass and is very durable. The frame connects through a series of yellow connectors located at each hub. There are five yellow hubs on one side of the frame and two on the other. The five yellow hubs denote the bottom front of the frame in its standard concave position. Stand the frame on end with the five yellow hubs facing up and toward you. Tilt the frame and insert your hand between the top and the second hub in the middle of the frame. Grasp the rod halfway down and lift up. Once in an upright position, connect the connector directly in front of you by holding the front and the back of the frame. Retract the yellow sleeve on the connector and insert the pin in the opposing hub. Release the sleeve to lock the connector in place. Proceed to connect all connectors in this fashion. To connect the top connectors, it may be easier to lean the frame toward you. The Mirage Plus frame is made of carbon fiber and is self-locking. There are five blue hubs and one yellow on one side of the frame and two blue and one yellow hub on the other. These blue hubs help you orient the frame properly. The line of blue hubs is the bottom and front of the frame in its standard concave position. To erect the frame, stand the frame on end with the five blue hubs facing up and toward you. Open up the hub slightly. The single yellow hub just above the center denotes where to place your hand to grasp the frame and open it. Hold the rod just above the yellow hub and lift straight up. The entire frame locks into place and is now ready to receive the rest of the hardware, graphics, and accessories. Lastly, let's look at the Mirage Advantage frame. The Mirage Advantage frame is made of fiberglass just like the Mirage Classic frame, but has self-grabbing magnetic connectors. There are five yellow hubs on one side of the frame and two yellow on the other. The five yellow hubs denote the bottom front of the frame in its standard concave position. Stand the frame on end with the five yellow hubs facing up and toward you. Open the hubs slightly and tilt the frame toward you. Insert your hand and grasp the rod just above the center hub. When the frame is lifted up and opened, the connectors approach each other and grab by magnetic coupling. The channels are located around the square center of the B or the octagonal core in the transporter. Remove a channel bar from the core. The top of the channel looks like this. There are two pins on the front of each channel bar to accept the panels. The hole at the top attaches to the pin on the hub. Place the hole over the hub pin and push up slightly. The bottom of the first section attaches to the next hub pin. The top of the second section tucks under the pin above as the bottom of that section attaches to the next hub pin. 
The top of the third channel section tucks under the pin and the bottom of the channel attaches to the bottom hub pin. The Mirage Plus and Advantage channel bars install slightly different. The top two channel sections attach just as the previous channel bar shown. However, on the bottom channel section, insert the bottom of the channel onto the hub pin at the floor first. Then locate the yellow locking tabs on the top of that channel section and pull down. While holding these tabs in the down position, insert the yoke under the pin and release the locking tab. Attach the channel bars to all locations shown. Channel bars are placed on the front for a concave configuration. Two channel bars will be placed on the back of the frame for the wraparound end panels. The panels are packed in both transporters in protective plastic bags. It is important to save the plastic for repacking to protect your investment from wear and tear. Cup the panel at the top and slide the notch of the panel onto the pin on the channel bar. First on one side of the panel and then on the other. Then allow the self-aligning magnets to attach. There are two styles of end panels. One style is for end panels that are constructed in fabric. Attach the front notch to the pin in the front, but tilt the panel away from the frame so the magnet does not engage just yet. Attach the back channel to the back pin, still not allowing the magnets to engage. Once both notches are attached to the pins with your hands on either side of the end panel, slowly run your hands down each side, engaging the magnet. Attach the second end panel. The second style of end panels is for graphic or plastic constructed end panels. Laying the end panel on the floor, locate the zipper at one end and zip the end panel. Attach to the frame in the same manner as all other panels. There are several styles of lights available for the Mirage product. Whatever style you have, they all attach to the frame in the same manner. Remove the light box from the core. Remove the cord from the box or the top of the case. Plug the appropriate end of the cord into the light. Using a stepladder or chair, place the light on the top of the channel bar by depressing the tab on the channel bar and sliding the pin on the light onto the channel until it clicks into place. You can adjust the light angle as needed. There is a second way to attach the lights that does not require a stepladder or chair. Attach the light to the end of the channel bar prior to attaching the channel bars to the frame. Depress the tab on the channel bar and slide the light pin on until it clicks into place. Then attach the channel bar in the manner shown, taking care to ensure that the channel bar is securely attached to the hub pin before attaching the rest of the channel bar. Repack the cores, instructions, and plastic protective bags back into the transporters. You can store the transporters behind your exhibit or with show services. And here is your basic 10-foot Mirage assembled. This should take you less than 10 minutes to set up with a little practice. For more information about this product or any of Skyline's other products, Visit your local Skyline dealer or visit us on the web at www.skyline.com.